the last few years, monk mode has become this trend on social media. But what is it? How does it work? And should you be doing it as a footballer? So let's start with what even is monk mode? Well, I found this definition online that sums it up pretty perfectly. Monk mode is a period of enhanced focus, discipline and productivity where you commit yourself to completing a goal. So put simply, you set some rules for a period of time to help increase your chances of achieving your goals. But monk mode can look different for everyone doing it. It depends on the individual, the situation, and what goals they actually want to achieve. For example, everyday people who just want to increase their productivity and they want to improve their lifestyle and become a better functioning person, they could set these sorts of rules, like not going on your phone before 12, reading 10 pages a day, doing meditation, drinking this amount of water, eating this amount of food, or not eating these foods, no alcohol, no drugs, and you get the idea. It's basically setting rules on things that you have to do and things that you can't do for a set period of time. Now, have I ever used monk mode? Have I ever used monk mode to achieve something or increase my performances as a footballer and as an everyday person trying to achieve success? And it's kind of a weird one because I think I have used monk mode, but at the time I didn't even realize that I was doing monk mode, I was going through monk mode or using monk mode as a tool. About three, four years ago when we were still living in England, we were playing football, we were really on the grind of chasing professional contracts and finding opportunities. And whilst doing all of this, we were also starting JNM football. And we were both working part-time jobs in England. So we had a lot to do and we were trying to achieve a lot. So we did set these like rules or boundaries for us every single day. We had to go to bed at a certain time so we could sleep a certain amount of hours and we could also wake up early. We used to read loads every single day, watch loads of educational content to just learn and see new things. My diet has never been better since this time period. I was eating super clean, drinking loads of water every single day. I was smashing the gym and I was training really hard doing extras as a footballer because I was working so hard to, to find opportunities and sign a professional contract. I was also spending hours on the laptop every day networking and contacting new people regarding opportunities in football. So we had a lot and we were doing a lot and we did set these rules because we thought this would help us achieve our goals. So this could be seen as a version of monk mode and now me looking back on that time period, I do see it as monk mode even though back then I didn't realise what it actually was and I probably didn't even know what monk mode was. And then finally, should you, should footballers use monk mode? My fully honest answer is yes and no, but let me explain. I think monk mode is a good, it's a positive thing if you want to achieve something in life or in football. However, for athletes, for footballers, it's important to have the right balance in life. So you want to be able to work hard, to grind and hustle, but you also need to be able to turn off your brain, forget about football, do something else and just relax and let your body and mind chill out. The older you get, the more you're going to realize as a footballer that how important it is to have other focuses in your life outside of football and also how important it is just to be able to forget about football, turn off football and worry about something else, focus on something else, have some other hobbies or just focus on your family or friends or just chilling out and doing nothing for the day. These sorts of things are so important for long-term success in football. Because if you only focus on football and you're only doing football every single day for, a, for your whole life, you're gonna burn out and you will probably get a lot of injuries along the way. So being able to forget about football and focus on something else is a key asset as a footballer and it's a thing that a lot of young footballers don't understand because they just want to grind and hustle and train every single day and train all the time to grow and improve which is great and you sort of also need this mindset as well but you also need to understand that you need to relax you need your body and your mind to be able to recover because if you don't let your mind and body rest and recover you will burn out and you will get injured so yeah by all means give monk mode a go it might actually really help you achieve your goals and put you on the right path to success but with me saying that i also 100 percent agree with you need the right bands in life so going through monk mode in these smaller shorter periods of time would be great 
and then have these other shorter periods of time where you're focusing on other things and you're not 100% solely focused on just football. So I hope this video cleared up any question you had about monk mode and should footballers use monk mode. If you have any other questions or any other topics you want me to talk about here on YouTube, drop a comment below. If you did enjoy this video and you are enjoying our more recent content, please, please, please smash the like button and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.